Hey, what's up? My name is Justin and this is 65 Drums. Today I want to do an experimental video and see if I can turn a VH11 hi-hat into a two-piece setup. Now, if you're not familiar with the VH11 hi-hat, this is the top piece and this is the bottom piece right here. So this is like a single piece electronic hi-hat and the two-piece hi-hats are the ones where they have like a top symbol and then a bottom symbol of some sort. And the roll-on lineup, the VH10 and the VH11 are both you know, just single piece hi-hat setups. They're nearly the same thing. The newer one is the VH10 and it's just a little bit lighter. So it works with weaker springs on like, you know, lower end hi-hat stands. So that's the only improvement right there. They're both pretty much the exact same thing. And in fact, the VH10 is pretty cheap. So if you want to upgrade your whole set, the VH10 is a great hi-hat to buy just to make your drum set that much better. But anyway, back to the topic. The reason why I'm going to try to do this is because I realized I have this Go e drum set of hi-hats right here. So this is a two piece setup. You got the top piece right here and then you got the bottom piece right here. I can't remember what drum set this came from. It was either the KE6 or the JE6. You can go watch my review of that. Uh, it's really old and really cringy and you probably shouldn't watch it, but this cymbal set came with it. These cymbals from Go e Drum, at least back in 2013 or 2014, they broke quite often. I think I ended up having like three-ish different cymbals break. I can't say if they're good or bad now because you know it's been years since these were made. But I've always sworn by the bottom piece right here. There's two versions of this Go e Drum controller unit. You got this right here, which is like 70 bucks if you buy this separately. A lot of people do this. They'll take their Roland cymbal and then they'll buy one of these guys. And now they basically have a hacked VH11. So they have like a Roland CY8 or something. And now they have a working one piece electronic hi-hat setup on an acoustic hi-hat stand. It's a really cheap way to upgrade your drum set if you don't want to go all out and buy like a VH10 hi-hat cymbal. But anyway, I want to see if I can take this right here. This is the bottom piece of that Goey Drum hi-hat setup and try to use it with this VH11. Now they're both the same size. This is a uh, 12 inches across. This is 12 inches across. So it should in theory work. And I just might have to adjust the height difference between these two by uh, putting some like cymbal felts that you can stack these right here on your hi-hat stand. So if the top piece and the bottom piece aren't making contact firmly enough, so you're always hearing that open hi-hat sound, you can just sort of like stack cymbal felts on the stand and that should get it working. Now, if you're curious on how this is made up, it's really simple. It's just a plastic plate right here. And there is a slight bit of rubber right around the edge right here, probably to help with like like feel or maybe make this a little bit quieter because that's the main problem with two piece electronic hi-hat setups. They're the best electronic hi-hats you can buy that are made of rubber, but the problem is they tend to be a little bit louder. Okay, so I've probably talked about this long enough. Let's go see if it works. Okay, so I've been testing it for a while and unfortunately, I don't think it's a complete viable option. Again, this was just a video for fun. It's not like an incredibly serious, you know, groundbreaking video, but I thought it'd be fun to try to see if I can turn this into a two-piece hi-hat and it does work. It technically works. The only problem is that the top piece sort of gets wedged right there, right on the underside of the lip of the bottom cymbal. And you almost have to hit the back of the VH11 just to sort of even it out and like pop it out like that. So it becomes a regular two-piece hi-hat again. So no, I don't really think this is a workable solution. And uh, you wouldn't wanna buy a VH11 hi-hat or a Goedrum hi-hat just to use with a VH11. 
I just happened to have the parts lying around, so I decided to see what would happen if I experimented a little bit. If you guys have ever tried experimenting with different electronic hi-hats, like sort of Frankenstein and different components together, let me know what happened in your experiments down in the comments below. Have an amazing day, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in a few.